Hi Pascal, thanks for meeting with me today. So I just wanted to ask you, can you tell me a bit about how lecturers can be support a support to students? Yeah, um, well, I'm in just uh, the parent built environment within the School of Engineering in SETU Carlo, um, and the lecturer and staff across the department are exceptionally good in regards to supporting students, whether it's through uh, learning difficulties or just support inside and outside the college itself. If a student has got any issues whatsoever, all our all the lecturer and staff are very, very approachable in regards to uh, helping students through difficult times they may encounter um, as, as they go through the college life, etc. Okay. And have you any advice that you might give to, to students, new SETU students? New SETU students, um, from my experience, like I'm in car I'm in SETU Carlo now uh, 17 years and over the years, I've seen the the difficulties first year students especially can encounter uh, as they go to college. For many students, it will be the first time away from home, um, living on their own, and uh, it's obviously attending a college itself. If there are any issues whatsoever, um, please come and speak to a lecturer. Uh, no matter um, how trivial, you, trivial you, may, you may think the issue actually is, um, we have supports in the college through student services, through students' unions, etc., um, and through the support from the lecturer, we can help students through any difficulties that they may encounter, uh, especially in the settling in stage from September to December, uh, the first semester one um, for, for first year students. OK, brilliant. So the, the message really is like stay engaged, link in for support rather than. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. most definitely. And the one thing I will say is um, one of the things I find students find most difficult, especially in first year, is actually um, getting up in the morning without um, mommy or daddy calling them or, or whatever it may be. And obviously, you mean, they're, they're away from home. So attendance is 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 paramount, is massively important, as is timekeeping. And I always say to my first year students, treat college like your nine to five. If you have a part time job, you're scheduled to be in work from 9 a.m. College is no different. You know what I mean? So uh, no matter what difficulty or issues there may be, if you come and speak to a lecturer, engage with the lecturer and time a lecture on a regular basis, we will, between us, find a solution um, for, for the issue that, that may have arisen. Brilliant. And would you have any different advice for, say, students who aren't in a full time situation or who might be working as well or, you know, different kind of pathways that people are coming through? Would you, adv would you have different advice for those people? Um, yeah, look, there, there are students will come from many different backgrounds and many different pathways you know what i mean um the students that are, are say working part-time and, and studying as well look in today's society in today's college life uh, majority of students will have part-time jobs um the advice i will give them is that um college is your priority you know what I mean? You are in college, your learning is your responsibility. You are now an adult. You are in college because you want to be there, not because you have to be there. You know what I mean? National school, secondary school, you have to go to them. It's the law. You know what I mean? Where college is your choice. You are now a mature adult. Um, so college will be your priority. You know what I mean? And from my experience speaking with employers, the majority of employers will be very flexible in regards to scheduling hours for students around their college timetables, etc. So is there anything else you'd like to add, Pascal, in relation to what lecturers can do to support students? Um, again, as I said before, like all the, all the students, uh, once they engage with lectures, I mean, we, we have vast experience in both our, our chosen disciplines in life and in lecture itself. Uh, and as good as we are, we're not mind readers. You know what I mean? So again, uh, student engagement is massively, massively important. Um, if you have difficulty with CAs or projects, now CAs are continuing assessments. Some of our modules or some of our topics or subjects will be 100% continuing assessment throughout the semester with no end of semester exam. Some of our subjects will have uh, both CAs, projects and end of semester exams. Uh, regardless of whether it's full CA or part CA, putting your continuous assessments in and on time 
to the criteria laid out by the lecturer is massively, massively important because if it's not 100 percent, the continuous assessments may account for 40 to 6 percent of the overall grade for that subject itself. So if you are having difficulties in regards to starting them off or in regards to writing, again, engage with your lecturer. They can give you guidelines and tips. And we have support in the college that will help with students starting CEAs and projects, etc. in regards to academic writing courses or, or, part, or stuff like that. Or we have uh, excellent staff in the library who again will support the students in regards to um, writing stuff and setting up pages and Word and Excel and so on and so forth. OK. That's great. Thank you very much. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we finish up? You know, I think you've covered um, a lot there. I've covered it quite a lot. <laughs> again, look, just, just the importance of engagement. Um, again, not just academic, uh, academic wise, but also mental health. Uh, we have huge support in the college from a mental health perspective. Um, again, if you are going through difficulties from that, that from from that side of things, please speak with your lecturer, um, and the lecturer then can help put some supports in place for you through student services, through our counselling services, and through the college itself as well. So again, both academic and non-academic um, issues that may arise, please again, I can't emphasise enough. Speak to your lecturers. We are approachable. We have a lot of experience, as I said, both inside and outside the college. OK, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you.